What's going on my Jack brother? Coach Scott here. I recently finished my two month supply of the Black Forest Terkestrone. This will be my final review, wrapping up my thoughts here and the benefits that I experienced while using the Black Forest Terkestrone and whether or not I think this is actually Terkestrone or not. Now, based on the benefits I've been experiencing, I've had a lot of clients who decided to experiment themselves to see how their body would respond. Some have not experienced any benefits at all other than like a little bit improved mood and a little bit overall well-being while others experienced strength gains in the gym, better energy, better endurance, um, and some even better sleep. But certainly none of us have experienced the steroid-like effects that you hear some influencers uh, talk about in their reverse view reviews of turkesterone. Just absolutely crushed another freaking workout. If you guys have been following along with my reviews while using turkesterone here, you have been seeing my strength gains go up. We'll focus on the hack squat first here uh, using 270 pounds I was able to hit nine repetitions I mean this was all out freaking effort at the start of using Turkestro so uh, I was feeling really really freaking great at this point uh, and this has been a weight I mean I've been plateaued at this weight I haven't been able to ever do more than nine repetitions with 270 pounds so this felt incredible I mean I'm, I'm ecstatic about this guys like 33 years of training under my belt almost 47 years young. I mean, any kind of progress. I mean, I'm just happy to maintain my strength, maintain my muscle mass at this stage of the game, yet alone like eke out any kind of strength gains, any kind of muscle gains. So after four weeks of using Black Forest Turkestrone, I was able to increase the weight to 290 pounds. That's 20 pounds more and hit 10 repetitions. So one more rep with 20 more pounds fucking phenomenal in my opinion um just feeling incredible late man i'm finding like my joints have been feeling great with this supplement my recovery has been fantastic i mean there is a lot that goes along with this could it be that i mean i was just coming off two months of tomcat alley and fidogia agrestis which um, increased my testosterone levels from 14.5 to 18.5, which is just a small increase in there. Uh, but was that enough to make, make me feel good and energize me? My mental switch has been flipped like five, six months ago. Uh, I've just been taking my training to a whole new level, like more focused than ever. Uh, just really digging deep to give the best of myself to all that I'm doing on the chest press here. Uh, so at the beginning of using Turkestrone, uh, I had 270 pounds that I was able to hit for eight repetitions. And then after two weeks, I was able to bump it up 20 pounds to 290 pounds, so exactly like the hack squat there, and able to get six repetitions there. It was a tough six reps. Like, it, it really took all that I had. It was that last rep was super slow. I had to, again, dig deep and really flip that switch in my mind to give it everything that I got with good form, not sloppy with the form it was just slow going on that last um repetition uh where i got six reps there so is six reps at 290 better than eight reps at 270 i think so um it was an increase that's a big jump i should have made a smaller jump there lesson learned i mentioned that in one of the previous reviews there uh and then after five weeks so three weeks later i was still using that same weight that I did after two weeks, so 290 pounds. I was able to get six reps much easier, so that sixth rep wasn't a grind. I tried for a seventh rep and, and couldn't quite get it up. This week, so after two months of using Black Forest Turkestrone, 290 pounds, so the same weight that I was able to do six reps, six and, 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 and a half reps there, Nine reps was a freaking breeze. It felt incredible. Tried for a 10th rep, couldn't quite get it. It's like nine and a half reps. I think if I like really dug deep, mental focus there, um, I probably could have tried to really grind that last one out again without being sloppy with the form there. So again, just super freaking ecstatic with the progress. Uh, and, and I want to mention as well, like in between here, like the two months that I've been on here, I was all, away on vacation for two months. So I didn't wait train for two months. Could that have had an impact on the progress? I mean, maybe just having two weeks, giving my body a two week break from training could have been responsible for the increase in my bench press here. Mind you, I was before my vacation when I hit that personal best on the hack squat there. So just some things to consider. Is it is it 
lingering effects from the Tomcat Alley for Doji Aggressus, or is it the Tomcat Alley? I mean, either way, it's like you guys are seeing me progress here. This is not like me BSing you guys with, oh, I think this is the latest, greatest, best thing in the world. Um, it's not me trying to be like this influencer saying, you got to get this, you got to get this. Uh, as I'm saying, like there are people who are non-responders. I just may be a hyper responder to this Black Forest Terkesterone here. And, and who knows what the others who aren't responding to it uh, may not be using this brand. They may be using something else. Who knows? It's it's tough to tell, but guys, I'm just being honest and transparent. I'm showing you exactly what I'm lifting here, and you've been you've been following me for years. Uh, you know that my my strength has pretty much been plateaued. I get those comments all the time, dude. Like you're not getting any stronger here. What's going on? I'm like, dude, like 33 years of lifting, almost 47 years old. It's it's a, it's a tough go, slow and steady games at this point. It's getting a little toasty in the car there. So um, I guess the, the other important thing that a lot of you guys are interested in, you see the strength gains, but um, am I gaining any muscle? Um, it's really tough to say, guys. It's only been two months. Again, 33 years of lifting, 47 years young. Uh, any gains are gonna come at a slow and steady pace. So my scale weight has continued to increase throughout this two month process here. Um, I have gained a little bit of fat in the process too. I can see my uh, abs are getting just a little bit blurrier, still lean as fuck. Um, but yeah, definitely gaining a little bit of fat, definitely gaining some scale weight here. Uh, it's gonna take more time, um, slow and steady process to, to build muscle. But if you are liking the strength gains you're seeing from me at this stage of the game with this many years of training, uh, seeing that my, state, my, my scale weight is increasing, knowing that some guys are not experiencing any benefits from using tricesterone and some are but you want to give it a, a tryout for yourself you want to see how your body responds to it i'm going to include a link down below in the description to black forest tricesterone if you go through that link i will receive a commission just a small little uh commission there it will help support the channel if you found these reviews helpful and transparent in making your decision um i'd really appreciate it if not so be it and if you want to just go directly through their link that's fine with me as well if you want to use another brand of Trichesterone. That is fine with me as well. But again, if you want to support the channel, it will be really helpful and I'd really appreciate it. So I'll include that link down below. Now on for more. Now at the time I started taking Trichesterone and recording my first review, news broke out that four popular brands of Trichesterone on the market had very little or no Trichesterone in them. And uh, it's not that these companies did anything wrong. They were using testing methods that were FDA approved. It's just that under better testing methods, you Using a mass spectrometer, uh, it was detected that it was mainly like beta ectosterone in there and very little to no trichesterone. Um, so when it comes to Black Forest, like I was, I would think, like I really wish that they would use the same kind of mass spectrometer testing, like doing these advanced testing, especially when they continue to make claims that their supplement has the most tercesterone in them on the market. Uh, they claim that they think it's 95% tercesterone uh, and 500 milligrams of tercesterone in them. Do you think that with all this going on that you'd want to come put everyone's minds at ease and really, really, truly prove that your supplement truly has that much tercesterone in it because um, basically from what my understanding is they've used similar testing methods to like gorilla mines uh turk builder double wood i forget what the other one is there but um yeah i think it would again put my mind at ease if it's actually tercesterone i think it would come back to bite you in the ass even more if you continue to make these claims in spite of everything that's been going on here um and then eventually find out down the road that your supplement as well has very little tercesterone in it. So do I actually think there is tercesterone in Black Forest tercesterone? I would say likely not. I think if we were to run the same tests that were done on uh, Gorilla Mines and Turk Builder, we would arrive at the same conclusion. There's just a little bit of tercesterone in there and it's mostly beta ectosterone. Um, and I am not <laughs> upset with that in the least. As I mentioned in one of the recent videos, um, there is recent research that came out that shows promise with beta ectosterone, certain combinations of beta ectosterone steroid even in low doses so much so that they're calling for it to be on the list of banned substances uh, and clearly the results are speaking for themselves with what I'm experiencing right now now the one concern is that based on the testing right now um, it goes to show that we don't know what's actually in the supplements the labels 
the label claims aren't necessarily what is in the supplement. So hopefully it is the beta ectosterone or maybe it is terkesterone in there. Hopefully it's not something else that I should be concerned with. So um, that is one of the big eye opening experiences from all of this is just that when it comes to the supplement industry, I am now going to be putting my trust only in companies that are doing the most advanced testing with their supplements uh, and being transparent about it as well. So uh, that's my big takeaway from all of this. The other really eye-opening thing has been seeing how people have been responding to the trichesterone controversy, especially those who claim to be evidence-based and even have science-based attached to their brand. Now, as I mentioned right from the start, I have been skeptical of trichesterone for the past year, a little bit more than a year, uh, because there has been no human research. But I kept seeing like the anecdotal evidence kept piling up, piling up. I'm thinking, is there something to this? Also seeing like people who were non-responders, but finally decided, you know what? It's been over a year. I'm gonna give it a shot, see how my body responds and go from there. And as you can see, like my body has been responding really well. I'm still remaining skeptical. Yet I have an open mind when it comes to it. Very similar to like pure bull fit, very skeptical, not just of Turkestrone, but of Greg Doucette. And he actually bought Greg's Turk Builder to see how his body responded to his surprise. He experienced fantastic strength gains. I think he experienced muscle gains. He did girth measurements. He went more extensive than I was to show the benefits that he was experiencing with Turk Builder, which was proven not to have uh, like almost no turkesterone in it, but beta ectosterone in it. So it's really great to kind of look at those who are skeptical, yet still have an open mind and willing to try it out for themselves. And then again, to say to you that, all right, this is our personal experience. It doesn't mean that you're going to experience a similar experience yourself. Again, we all respond different to all supplements out there. Every single supplement has non-responders, hyper-responders, and everyone in between as well. Now, I was really impressed with um, Stronger by Science. They did their, they had a, a podcast where they discussed terkestrone and beta ectosterone, and they had a very, again, a very open mind uh, in regards to beta ectosterone, in regards to it being, showing some promise there. So it was really great to see. I think they did a fantastic job of being like more unbiased, just sharing like the real perspective. Like we don't have a lot of research on this, but it shows promise. We need more research to go based on that. Now I'm seeing other guys out there who are like, as soon as it came out that there was no terkesterone or very little terkesterone in some of these supplements, some of these guys are saying, there you go, that's proof that terkesterone doesn't work. Well, no, that didn't prove that terkesterone didn't work. It proved that there was hardly any terkesterone or no terkesterone in these supplements. It's beta ectosterone that may be working or may not be working for some people. And again, like you see a lot of these people, it seems to be the people who had extreme biases against Greg Doucette. They just wanted to dig it in and kill him. I can't say I'm like a huge fan of Greg Doucette or anything like that, but it's been really fascinating to see the people like in attack mode. They're just waiting to pounce on him for this. But again, like the fact that there's very little terkesterone in these supplements doesn't mean that terkesterone doesn't work at all. And then these same people are saying that because we don't have any human research on terkesterone, it means terkesterone doesn't work. What? Like, how can you call yourself evidence-based and science-based if you're saying that if we don't have a study on this, it means it doesn't work? No, it just means we don't have research that doesn't prove whether it works or doesn't work. So really, I mean, it's been so eye-opening for these guys who hang their hats on being evidence-based to see the bias that they really have. I mean, it's shining loud and clear right now. It just really makes you stop and think like we really got to take everything with a grain of salt you guys should be taking my review here with a grain of salt i'm just sharing my own personal experiences along with what my clients like i said like some clients are non-responders to the black forest terkestrone which may not be terkestrone maybe beta ectosterone i don't know myself um, again i'm trying to be open and honest and transparent with all of this but take my experiences with a grain of salt and just know that because this supplement may be working for me doesn't necessarily mean it uh, will be working for you like gain insights from many others and then again what it all really comes down to is how does it work for you you got to decide is this something worth experimenting with yourself do you want to try it for yourself see how your body responds or is it like and eh, it's still fairly new although if it's beta ectosterone i mean that's been around for for a long time now and, and appears to be safe whether it works or not is still up for debate and we need more research on that but it's gonna it's gonna be up to you whether you want to spend the money on doing a little month few one or two month experiment yourself and see how you respond 
and then and then go from there. So again, I'm just sharing my own personal experiences. Take it for what it's worth, but take it at, with a grain of salt as well. So that will conclude my review of the Black Forest Terkestrone. I hope you found value in this, and if you do decide that you want to experiment yourself and see how your body responds to it, again, I'll include a link down below in the description. I will earn a small commission from that. It will help support this channel. I would greatly appreciate it, or just go directly to their website, or go visit another brand that you would like to try instead. I'm cool with that. Whatever you decide suits you best. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please do me a favor and smash that thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit that alert button so you're notified each time I upload a video. If you know a fellow bro who would benefit from watching today's video, please do me a favor and share it with them more than anything. Love to hear from you down in the comment section below. Share your thoughts, share your insights, share your feedback. Let me know if you have tried Tricesterone yourself, uh, what your experience has been like or with beta ectosterone or what you think of the whole controversy in general. Uh, share your thoughts down in the comment section below. I'd really appreciate it. Before you go, don't forget to download your free guide, Lose Fat, Get Jacked. Have yourself an amazing day. Catch you in the next video.